Alright, welcome everybody, and right now we're going to be looking at the uh, Deluxe Clash, Dark... D Clash, I say Clash, I meant Class, Dark of the Moon, <laughs> uh, Specialist Ratchet. So here he is, this is a um, reddish, uh, it's like a redeco of, uh, of Ratchet. And it's like, uh, it's kind of interesting because this was originally like a um, Voyager figure, and you know, they shrunk it down, I mean... Gave it an interesting new transformation. And it looks very much, you know, like the way you would expect Ratchet to look. Overall, this is a pretty cool paint scheme. Uh, it's like a fun fact, this was the original scheme they were going to go for originally in the movie before they made him green. Now, uh, they shrunk it down, it's like as a deluxe class. They have also had like a deluxe class for the, uh, like, uh, what was it called? Uh, Hunt for the Decepticons and the... Uh, and, uh, what was the other one called? It's like the uh, Nest Alliance. That one was more of a like a hatchback version of this, and that one had the gun you could give to Lockdown. So yeah, I mean the figure looks great, but obviously uh, you know it's much smaller than you know the real vehicle would be. So it kind of made more sense for it to be a deluxe. I mean just for size comparison, here it is with um, the um, Age of Extinction Drift, and obviously this thing would be huge next to this. Uh, car, but, yeah, very tiny, here he is next to Wheeljack from, uh, Prime, again, just looks tiny overall, but anyway, last of all Dark of the Moon figures, it came with a mech tech weapon, in this case, um, this one here, which I believe was held by either Mudflap or, um, Skids, and, uh, you have this gun, and you push it forward, and have these two slide out the uh, blasters. This is a pretty cool weapon, but uh, I do kind of wish I had a locking mode, so. There's that, and, uh, you know, you can store it on top here, put it right in the wheel, and it doesn't look too out of place on it, I gotta say. You know, they gave it the red parts there, so it kind of matches. So it would have been cool if you could lock it. But, hey, that's what happens. So... On the transformation. Transformation's actually pretty easy on this guy, surprisingly. You want to come here and take these panels here and just push them in like so. You want to pop this section back here and just lift this. Get out of the way. Pull down the, the legs. You want to come here, pull these, and rotate them around. That's your feet there. You want to come over here pull these sections out and like actually pegs in here so I want to unpeg it there and then just repeat from the other side and yeah, these will actually snap in the place there and you just take the arm here lift and rotate it you know, so it's oriented properly there you go now once you do that this whole section here so you can see there's this head you take it, and it's like you want to rotate it. You just rotate it, and there you go, it'll snap in place. You just push the section down, and it will also snap in place. It's a little hollow there, so take this black hook bumper section and just push it down. Once you do that, you flare these out, close them up, push them back in. That's done for the arms. Then you just lift this section here and fold that. And well, kind of, sort of. One of the strange things, I don't know if this is what every figure, but... So you can see it's kind of bent here. I don't know what the deal with that is. I mean, it's perfectly straight, but when you close it, it just bends to the one side. So that's a little weird, but... Overall, there you go. There's your... Ratchet and Robot mode. And you can't really straighten the legs out too much, because of the way the hinges work on it. He's got this vague backpack, but other than that, I mean, from the front, it definitely looks like Ratchet should, like movie Ratchet, the way you're expecting. Oh, wait. Yeah, there you go. Fold that out more. And then, you know, you can just let him hold the weapon. Or he can once again store it on his back. Although, that would make him even more back heavy now than he already is. So there you go. There's your, uh... The looks ratchet. I mean, he, the arms go up a little bit and they turn. They have like the uh, swivel here, but it's really tight. And the swivel there. 
the uh, hands move a little bit. There's ball jointed uh, leg sections there. These ball joints are actually pretty loose now that I think about it. Maybe I should have to thicken them up a little bit. Maybe we'll do that later. So, yeah, just put them there. Kind of wants to fall. For comparison, here he is with the uh, new movie uh, lockdown. You can see the overall very tiny figure. Here is with the other movie lockdown. Oh. Gotta love scale, right? <laughs> You think an ambulance would tower over your average muscle car or Lamborghini, but yeah, scale. <laughs> you gotta love it. So overall, I mean, it's a pretty cool figure. I mean, you can probably find it in the in the bargain bins these days. Kind of surprised they didn't come out with the original movie version of the green. I think they were supposed to do that for the um, what you call it, that movie trilogy line. So who knows? Maybe they'll re-release that one yet. In the meantime, um, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, Ratchet for you, Dark the Moon. You know, I hope you enjoyed this little view on them, and you know, till next time, got some more stuff coming down the road. Uh, well, pretty soon I should be getting Quantron in, so we'll look at another combiner. So till next time, hope you enjoyed. Uh, you know, subscribe, comments, love to hear from you. Later.